Hey guys, Heather here, and I have another haul from this weekend. We went to, where did we go? Um, I worked for like two hours on Friday, and so I got off early enough to go to an estate sale um, about an hour, hour and a half away. We went to that estate sale, and then um, on our way to that estate sale, we passed through a town that said that they were having like their Heritage Days Festival, Swiss Festival. Um, and so they were in town wide rummages. So we hightailed up to the estate sale and then we worked our way back through that little town going to all the rummages that we could find. Um, also in that town, there was an antique mall that we'd never been to and it was so cool. Um, I don't know if anybody local has ever been in Bern, but their Bern antique mall is the coolest thing. It used to be a church and from the outside, it looks like totally dilapidated dilapidated <laughs> dilapidated like things are kind of falling off the whole town has like this Swiss chalet vibe um, and the outside of this church is no different but some of the parts and pieces are like falling down and the stucco looks like it's kind of coming off in places and then you walk in the door and it is the coolest old church they've got it all Swiss style inside um, there's tons of rooms there's three floors it's it's the coolest building um, we did shoot some footage there, so you have maybe already seen that. Um, I don't know if the thrifting will go up before this haul, but either way, if you haven't seen that video, you should check it out because that church in Bern, that's actually an antique mall now, is so, so cute, just quaint. The little ladies who um, were running the place were just so nice. It was just such a neat little place. So I'll try to remember where each thing came from and tell you that um, as I go through my haul. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of my videos where you know that I collect these little mini little girlies. Um, and there must be a bazillion of them because I brought these home thinking, well, maybe I have those already. I don't. And I have maybe 10 in a little shadow box in my hallway. Um, so it's super cute that I got these and I don't have them already. Um, at a rummage sale in the town, right, town wide rummage, I got this amazing cookie jar with little eyes peeking out of the doorway. And then you turn it around, see if I can do it. It's super top heavy, the lid is super heavy. Um, all those little eyes looking out the window, it's so cute. And a little tree trunk, little mushroom. I just, I can't, I can't got no markings so I believe it to be a hobbyist piece but the lid is so heavy it's just a whole vibe it's adorable and I can't get over it let's see I'm trying not to break that um actually on our way out of town yesterday we hit a rummage in our town and this is the Fisher Price music box record player and it's cool because it doesn't plug in and it doesn't take batteries it's a wind up so when you wind it and click a little record into the little knobs on here and set the little thing over and then you just flip the switch on and it plays. So it also came with all five of the records that it would have come with. It comes with, um, oh, where has my little dog gone? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, Camp Town Races, which I don't know that one. Humpty Dumpty and Edelweiss. So let me, let me put one on for you guys. The cutest thing, um, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but you put it on the main middle thing and then you line up the little dots and that's how it knows what it's playing, I think. And then you set this little doodad on the player and then you wind all the way and then you press the little on. batteries I just I can't get over that Fisher Price they really had it together very cute and you almost never find it with all five records so I was super excited to find all five records there may have been six but I think there was only five um, at the burn antique mall we found this cool radio it does have a crack but I really loved I don't know if I get the glare off I liked the second hand how it's like a round second hand so this is RCA Victor model. Um, they came in white, blue, and tan. This is the white model. I just thought it was super cool. It was fairly inexpensive. Also, it's a clock radio and alarm, so it, you could wake up to the radio in the mornings, which is fun, and the cord was in pretty good shape. Also found this one. Um, 
I liked the, it's like a gray taupe color. Um, it's by Zenith Radio. It also has an alarm. Um, <laughs> for, for best results, use Zenith quality tubes. Um, it works. Both of them work. I thought this little like brick pattern was so mid-century. Um, I liked the knob where you tune the radio. And again, that clock radio face is just really cool. This one is not cracked, so it's in pretty good shape. The cord, though, might need replacing. Um, it's not frayed all the way through, or not frayed, but it's not like broken or messed up all the way through, but it has kind of have, I don't know, a little bit of mess up right there. I'm not sure what that is or if it's dangerous or what, but normally all of my electronics I put with a little disclaimer that vintage electronics should be used with care and safety um, and probably in all reality should be replaced the cords so um, next where'd I find this Goodwill actually um, actually on Thursday I went to Goodwill and found this before we even hit estate sales or rummage sales so it's vintage Winnie the Pooh little child's tray suction cups to the table you can fill it with warm water to keep the food warm I thought that was really sweet this is also at Goodwill it is left in and it's three little cherubs holding up this dish i just thought it was quaint very victorian would go perfectly on a victorian mantle i found this picnic set i believe that it's probably 80s um the i think the yellow one has three little compartments separated inside the other three are just a solid open thing but it'd be so cute to have your you know snacks and sandwiches or whatever if you're carrying it for a picnic this little part unlatches and you can remove all of them um you know to eat your picnic lunch but then it has this little carrying handle which i thought was really sweet um i just thought it was cute the colors are cute it almost reminds me of an ikea piece and it may have been from ikea in the 90s 80s or 90s this is from the estate sale yesterday um we were so dumb we were looking at this i thought it was cool i picked it up i was gonna get it anyway and then i was looking at the maker on the bottom and we were trying to figure it out and it looks like massey macy it's definitely hager um i don't know if the glare is too much on there or if you can even make that out but we got home and i was like we're so dumb that says hager um but I knew I was drawn to it for a reason. I just thought it was really cool. It's ceramic, it's glazed black inside and like this reddish blackish cross hatch looking pattern on the outside. And so I thought that was really cool. It looks really neat. I got this cool large shell trivet um, at a yard sale in the Swiss Days town. <clears throat> see this came from also a yard sale in the Swiss Days town. It is, it's like this stucco pattern. Um, it's it's real bumpy and rigid it's got really pretty florals on it and nothing on here is glazed except for the red which i thought was kind of cool it's like a shiny but the rest is matte um and it has uh Inesco on the back but it says italia not japan which is interesting so Inesco must have been in italy as well or it's just in an italian style i don't know but it looks to have been it could have been an ashtray probably with these little dips in here but also it could have just been to serve tidbits and you could rest your little tongs there or your little spoons there whatever so i thought that was cool that it still had its foil sticker this came from the estate sale i almost didn't pick it up the mister was like what about this and you can see that the flowers have like a spaghetti glitter styling to them um, and the saucer obviously matches their mark germany on the bottom um when we were and i was hemming and hawing over it they were like just just take it just you need that and so we got it mm, let's see i got these cool this was at the estate sale too um these bookends i love the shape of those they almost look like they don't go together but they do they they have the lines that match on both sides i like the circle on the one side i just like the shape of that i just feel like those speak to the mid-century modern era and I don't know what they're made of. They may be cheap, they may be teak, I just don't know. But I picked them up because the shape of them spoke to me. I got, oh, we had a church sale on our way out of town to go to the um, estate sale and got these two vintage um, Christmas lights. They're made in China, so they're not super vintage, but they're probably 70s or 80s. And they do have the pink bulb, which 
it seems like sometimes I get Christmas lights these days if I need just like a small pack and they're like red, orange, blue, and green. These ones have the actual pink and I like those so I'm having a hard time not keeping these. I don't know if I'm gonna list them yet or keep them. At the estate sale, I got this beautiful Mary planter. Um, she's marked on the bottom, but I've, I don't know if I've ever seen that marking. It's not numbers. It's like something worn off maybe Japan, but I don't think it says Japan. It doesn't seem like it does, but she was pretty with her aqua blue head scarf on. This was at a rummage sale in the Swiss town, Ger or uh, Germany. Yeah, we went to Germany yesterday. No, in the Swiss town, uh, Bern. These are both marked Japan and they're just sweet little carolers with cute little faces. Although he looks like he's seen a ghost off to the side. I don't know what he's doing. They're cute. These were also at that estates, or no, these were at the rummage sale, or there was a salt and pepper rummage sale where I got the mushroom cookie jar. These are terracotta, I believe. They're made in Japan, still have their stoppers. There is a Viking Imports Japan label on the back of her. And I just thought they were sweet. They they have really sweet faces, little chubby round faces, and he's waving. They're just cute. These I thought were salt and pepper shakers. I got them home today and realized that they are not. Um, they are just cute little skunks. I don't know who made them or what they are, but they are just little shelf sitters. So they'd be cute in a, a shadow box, mid-century shadow box. Um, other than that, that's that's all you do with them. You just look at them on the shelf. This came from the estate sale, little graduation Lefton boy. He still has his sticker. He has a cute, cute face. One lone little salt and pepper shaker. My camera cut out, I don't know why. Um, this little guy was all by himself and he is a bobblehead. He's a salt and pepper shaker. It's Commodore, Japan, Mark Japan, foil sticker intact. Isn't he so cute? His little face is just adorable, so I couldn't leave him behind. Um, this little guy is a single salt and pepper shaker. Also came from the mushroom rummage sale. Still has his whiskers. So sweet. Mark Japan on the bottom. Um, these came from the mushroom salt and pepper rummage. Weird little elephants. I think they were missing maybe a handle or something that went here because there's holes in those. But they say S&P on their hats. They have funny little faces and blue ears. So I thought they were super different. This came from the estate sale. She's a little vase. She is made by Lego, I believe, because I've had another one of these before, but she doesn't have her foil sticker. This came from the estate sale as well. Little Mary and her lamb. These are, I would say, older um, than the 40s, probably. She's got her little chain intact. They're not marked. They don't have stickers, but I would venture to guess that they are 40s. These little creepies were at the estate sale up on a high window in this old Victorian house. And while we were, while I was trying to get them down, some a girl came in and was like, are you guys trying to get to those to see if they're haunted? Because they're creepy. And we were like, no, no, we like them. They're cute. But isn't their face cute? But their big bouffant hair, like beehives on a baby. I just can't. It's hilarious. So I picked up those off that show. This came from the um, estate sale as well. Big Victorian house. So this fits right in. It's like a teapot, but it's also a vase. Um, it has the Thames hand painted made in Japan sticker on the bottom. I'm gonna have to go faster. My camera's doing something weird and it keeps shutting off. This came from the estate sale. No marking on the bottom, but it was just pretty and had that luster. This came from the estate sale. It's an amber glass fairy lamp in perfect shape. This cute guy came from the estate sale. He is not in perfect shape, but he's so sweet. He's got just a couple of little nicks and could be touched up with some paint really easily. This is also from the estate sale to mother with love and it does have its sticker made in Japan still. Cute little gold edging. This also came from the estate sale. I believe it probably would have had a little skinny vase that it held up. Um, it's brass, it's heavy, and it's pretty. I thought it looked like very Victorian. This came from the estate sale. Isn't this face cute? It's worn off, but oh no, this came from the Burn Antique Mall because um, he was in the basement and I just thought he was cute. I couldn't leave him behind. You might've seen that video already where I'm like, it's begging to come home with us because it's only $2. This came from the mushroom canister rummage sale. It says made in occupied Japan on the bottom. What else, what else? I can't get over there. 
three of the best colored vintage fly swatters. Um, I looked up what the word in the middle of it meant and the first result said it meant like free spirit. So I thought that was kind of fun. I just thought they were cute. They're real flimsy and thin, but the coloring was perfect. This came from a church rummage before we even left town to go to the estate sale. Always drink milk. Um, I just thought the mug was cute and it's, it's marked made in Japan by Chase. Let's see. This little guy was all by himself. He probably would have had a partner at some point, but he, did, he didn't have at the estate sale. So we brought him home because he was really cute and sweet. These sherbet cups came from the Burn Antique Mall. Um, they do glow, so they are uranium glass. Oh, it's going to break. That's dangerous. This came from the church rummage, and it is a whole basket of McDonald's birthday party. Um... It comes with seven hats, these little carriers, plastic cups, activity sheets, um, stickers, and it's all 1994 McDonald's birthday party. And I just thought that was the cutest stinking thing. This little shelf sitter angel is super heavy, um, made of brass, no markings, but I thought she was sweet, just sits right on the edge of a table or shelf. This came from the estate sale um, I just thought the, the box was cute and I like that it says gift tie T-Y-E not T-I-E uh, I got a salad bowl with three mini bowls to go with it uh, these wooden ornaments came from the estate sale I really really appreciate the little fryer I think he's trying to rope this little angel on the moon um, then there was another little angel, another little angel with a lamb, and then this little girl sitting on our bench. And she was kind of random, but she came with us because she matched. And that was all of them that were in the box. I don't know if the other ones got broken over the years or if there ever were anymore. Um, from the mushroom rummage, I got three blind mice. Um, got that one, this one, and this one. I got a poodle bookend with a vase space. He didn't have his partner, but he was still really cute. If you had a bookshelf and you had the shelf here, books to here, and then this could hold up the other end. I got a pie bird, vintage Japan pie bird, just white. I got this cute amber trinket dish because it says, and I don't know if you can tell it or not. Maybe you can't, I don't know. It says I love you right in the middle. So that, that'd be a cute little gift for someone to give. I got this little trinket dish at the church rummage. It separates into three little dishes. <clears throat> oh, let's see. I dug around in some boxes and got a bunch of little plastic felted little Christmas decor pieces. So that's little Mrs. Claus with her skates. A little angel ornament missing her wings, but she's still felted and sweet. Um, a couple of little like these little guys were in there. There's a covered wagon and another bear. And this cute little plastic white deer. Whoa, that was up in your eyeballs, wasn't it? Sorry. Isn't he cute? And then these two little super fine plastic Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I got a paperweight at the Burn Antique Mall, still in its box, made in Japan by Price Imports. It's like a foiled bird inside. I'm going to show it to you because it's, it's cool. Um, it's very heavy, obviously, because it's a paperweight, but isn't that inside cool? And it's by Price Imports sticker still in the back in the original box, which is a win for me every time I find it. I got these adorable um, entertaining set, this adorable entertaining set from the Burn Antique Mall. It comes with these cute napkins with all these little sayings and then the coasters that say, a plump wife and a big barn never did any man harm and then the other one says the hurrier I go the behinder I get and it's the land of plain and fancy 30 coasters and 24 napkins Amish country snack pack I just thought they were so funny and cheeky let's see what else what else I got this really cute you can't tell that it has daisies on it yellow trash can but it does have daisies and it cleaned up so nicely I got this baby talc by Rexall I thought the pink was really sweet and I got this car wash wax the just the motif on that all around was just adorable that garage that carport the lady the car how they use the different colors to say the words car wash just it's too cute i uh, got a 
orange. I believe this goes to the friendship or maybe to the sunflower pattern refrigerator set by Pyrex. And then the last thing I got was this cute pink hamper with a cute little design motif. It's real short. I can't, I don't know if you can tell. It's like, like goes in a children's room or, or something maybe, but it's really cute. I have two or three others campers like that, not pink. So that's why I had to get it. Um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I have no idea. I got no space for it, but I couldn't leave it behind because it was pink and it was adorable. So it came home with me. I think that's it for now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.